Namaste, love and light. Star seeds. I hope all is well with y'all. Send y'all love and light, abundance, and prosperity. Namaste, love and light. I'm not the city. Yes. Well, some of y'all could be earth signs. Um, what else did I say? Uh, yeah, keep making positive movements forward. This is the Eight of Pentacles. So, yeah, some of y'all could be earth signs. Y'all could be really um, hard working, okay? And spirit wants you to keep making positive movements forward. Spirit is helping you, all right? Spirit is helping you do the work. Spirit is helping you build and help. And, and spirit is also helping you plant those seeds, okay? And um, spirit is helping you in love as well, helping you make a decision in love or opening up the road in love. Yeah, or this is just like... I see a huge road open up for you and, and it's a light. Ooh, somebody is in prison or going to spiritual jail. I feel like some type of something was exposed. Something came to light and it resulted in a karmic being trapped in fear, going to jail, even if they like mentally like in prison. They did I feel like this is someone that did spell work. We always get this energy. All right, a karmic witch or warlock did spell work to try to keep you in this energy, all right, or try to lock you up, and it backfired. It did. Yeah, I feel like you guys only want to give hope to the world. I always talk about this. Your light here as well is the truth. I feel like your light alone showed the truth, exposed the truth, just you being who you are, all right, because if this person was trying to slander your character, your light, all right, pretty much... It, you know, destroyed that, that whole slander, okay, exposed the truth about who you really are. But this light that you have, this piece of light, all right, that you're giving to the world is hope. And, and I feel like someone is trying to, like, make it seem like it's fear. It's really fear or it's false light or something. And it's, and it's the truth. Wow. Your hope is like people believe it because they feel it. Whatever you're saying, people, it's the truth, and people feel it and believe it, okay? I feel like somebody needs to detach from you because the more they try to challenge you, the more they create obstacles in their life, okay? You're like the core of you. The core of your light, all right, that source is charged up, and that's why your light is just like, pizzazz okay and i'm even getting the sun okay i told y'all yesterday the sun is charged up all right and ready to go okay it's so crazy all right y'all could be ascending a lot receiving a lot of like light codes up well uh, activating upgrading and these are like light code dna light codes okay but look at this i took a picture today because i saw this ring all right and i hope y'all could see it but it's a rainbow so that electrical charge energy that's coming from the sun is, you know, emitting a rainbow. It's pure light. And I feel like this ties with hope. And this is also like ties with, you know, the collective awakening. Everyone is waking up to the truth here. And somehow it's bringing people hope. People's heart is shifting into hope. Like either they know they was right or, you know, even them just believing in themselves. Okay yeah I feel like someone was bored with their life and their power and they wanted to use you as a source okay so they can be powerful like you so they can be in your energy that same energy that you have see this is whoever this is, that's in this in the source energy this is what they get they were trying to block your vision block your light a lot and they lied a lot they they it's like this is someone like they could be saying that they thought they was telling the truth or they thought they knew the truth but they're realizing that it's not yeah some of y'all could be saying two 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 this is divine confirmation 2020 is significant oh my god and i heard gun Ooh, gunshot somebody could have got shot around 2020 all right or well, somebody was like Ooh, somebody was plotting. Somebody was plotting and that got exposed, okay? Something that was premeditated, it got exposed here. I feel like you are the light. It's like, I feel like you guys are using your light to, like, expose 
what's in the dark like we always talk about but like even like murder cases murder, like you're able to pick up on that or you could have solved like a case before or even like your own case maybe like some type of murder injustice this is even you know we hearing certain you know black people getting killed and stuff and you guys are able to use your psychic senses to investigate the truth all right, some I feel like someone is jealous of this light, this ability that you have to able to just see the truth. You have like this keen third eye, okay? And I feel like they, wow, yeah, they try to block your intuition a lot. I feel it. They try to block your psychic senses a lot, and they was rejoicing off of this. And they, it's like they was rejoicing like now we're just waiting for it to work. We're just waiting for it to work. And these people, they ended up in this heartache and loss. The same ones that was rejoicing in the background, waiting for you, rejoicing in the shadows, in the dark, waiting for you to fall and crash. They seeing you have this brand new beginning while they being told to walk away from you because you the impress, you growing. They don't want to admit that they are in this heartache and lost energy. They don't want to admit that they lost, they lost a piece of themselves, a part of themselves, their soul, a piece of their soul. Or, or they lost the battle, they don't want to admit to that. They're like too ashamed to even admit that they started the battle. Or they don't want to admit that they lost something, like the, their gifts, some type of possession, something. Love begins, they could have lost their heart, their soul, like I said, a lover, some type of blessing. This person made a sacrifice and it ended up, they ended up sacrificing this love begins to take yours and, and that was a lose-lose. They, they did not win, wow. This is someone that's not protected. The ancestors are not protecting them. Yeah, this is someone they could be trying to do all the work that they possibly can to try to, like, get themselves back in the place that they once were. But this person, they need to, you know, I feel like the reason why it's not working because this person, you know, they did a lot behind your back to keep you stuck. And this is what they need to reflect on. This is why nothing is working because they did a lot in the background. Their karma is catching up to them. They can't escape karma. They can try to wish, wish death on you or, or they want. I'm hearing it's not going to work. You guys definitely moved on from this person and you guys stumble across a lot of prosperity. Right when you moved on, you guys stumble across prosperity. And a lot of you guys could have manifested this, generated this. All right, either way, however, however, however you got it, you're telling the truth about it. And this is someone that's trying to say, no, no, that's not true. You did something else. You did something with the ancestors. You stole their power. What the fuck? You see, this is what this person is saying is very offensive to you because you didn't steal this person's power. They're lying on you. But they, they really, truly believe their lie. They could have knew from the start they ain't take, that you ain't take shit from you, I mean, uh, that you ain't take shit from them. But they try to crisscross and to confuse you so much so you won't see it and acknowledge your own light. You won't accept it. And they'll, then they'll somehow intercept it and take it. Okay? They were trying to confuse you and block you a lot. And they really were trying to play God in your life. It's like, yo, I just felt some shit. This person was definitely working with demons. Like, they chained and tied to a demon. They were trying to use a demon to control you. That's wrong. They got demons rolling all in their house. They trying to say your children are demons. Y'all need to stay away from this person. This person took a risk trying to tap into your energy with demons. That was the wrong, that was the wrong road to go. I, I told y'all, wrong road. That shit real. Wrong road. Talking about people, children, or demons and shit, that's why you wouldn't even call yourself all love, love, like, what? You fake. The goddesses and gods don't love you the way you think. You all in your ego thinking they got to love you that way and you a nasty, wicked soul. That's why you don't have one no more. You all, you controlled by your, your, your mind. Whatever your mind is programmed, whatever that entity got your pro mind programmed to be like. I'm sorry that happened to you. This person, this is like scary energy. Like, this person... Like, telling this story, people get scared. Like, people feel the fear coming from this person. Like, this person is, like, really scared. All right? Wow. Stop it, Mino. You know? This person is, I'm, they, they, they flop, man. They messed up, man. They should listen, messing with your life, your destiny. That's wrong, period, regardless of who you are, who you say you are. Right, right. Listen, this person probably have a problem because you acknowledge and honor yourself as who you are. Golden, royal, all right? A star seed, earth angel. 
They tried it. And, and it's like, what I'm getting is like, regardless of what you guys say, this person messing with your life was wrong and it was never going to work. But like, you guys are 100. I'm getting 100%. All right, this person, I, I, I feel like they try to, you know, do something at 100%. Like, try to do something to you at 100%. And it like, broke their timeline, okay? But I feel like you guys, I'm getting, you guys are 100% complete. I feel like y'all about to receive something huge, like something huge that you did not expect. It's like spirit is throwing a huge platter. And it's like, you know, spirit, like, you don't got to eat it, but don't it look good? And you like, yeah, it do look good. I, like, it's something that you cooked. You've been waiting. It's your recipe. And you've been waiting for it to be chefed up, okay, by spirit. Spirit had to chef this up for you. You know, you added in your little two, three ingredients and stuff, your little, you know, two cents or whatever like that, whatever, whatever. But this is something that, you know, I feel like is special from spirit, like spirit you know, had to build, all right? And I feel like your love, all right? This could, listen, I'm getting your love and your hope that you have, whatever love or in, and hope energy you put out there towards your own destiny, your own life, your own dreams. That's what helped build and manifest what spirit was already, you know, building for you. This is definitely like tied with your, your spiritual birthright, your divine spiritual inheritance, okay? It's like somebody could have been trying to say, oh, that's not true because it's already set up and put out there. There's no way spirit is building this right now. Like, obviously, they, this person is, uh, listen, they, I, I feel like this person's mind is confused. Whoever's saying this right now, you guys, you a weirdo. It's like you get what I'm saying, but you don't want to get what I'm saying because I'm saying it. And that's what's confusing your own mind. Some of you guys are going to receive $1,100, all right? Yeah, it's like I'm seeing that, like, you're, I'm seeing plus $1,100 in your bank account. You guys definitely stepped into your purpose. You guys took a leap of faith to, to step towards the unknown. Y'all was brave and confident, and y'all didn't know what was going to be in store for you, what you was going to have to withstand, be up against. You didn't even think anything bad was going to follow or try to hinder you. Y'all just took that leap of faith, and you was brave and confident. You knew that everything was going to be okay. Everything was going to work out. This is for me, you know, So and I'm in control. So... You know, only I can, you know, lose control of the will. I ha and, and, and since I have control of it, I know which direction to go. Like, you, I, I'm almost like you guys have control of the will. You have control of the will. Okay? You have control of it. They tried these karmics. It was a group of them. And it was one, it's one specific one that's standing out. All right? They all try to take control of your will. Like, six, five to six people try to all grab your will. And it's like, I'm seeing y'all in the passenger seat. These people don't realize you was protected, though. And that's what scared them. Because they thinking, like, damn, I should never did it. That was stupid. That was dumb. And then they worrying about it being sent back to them. See, these people didn't want you to be abundant, though. They put their own ego, you know... It's like they put they it's, it's like they put their own ego, I guess, in between y'all, too. Okay? They're her ego. Yeah, what, what is the car? Her ego. That's what got in the way with y'all relationship. Yeah, getting ego, get in the way of relationship, etc. Their ego. They let the, they allow their ego to get in the way. Okay? That's what's, that is what's blocking them, their ego. They're not upgrading their ego. They're not healing. I feel like this person don't need to be in the dark realms. They need to completely shift into light. Just transcend into light. They need to heal and transcend or transcend and transmute into light they don't need to be doing no more dark stuff this is someone that's like honestly i, I ain't gonna lie loki feel bad for them it's really it's like this is really bad you guys this is like bad energy bad karma all right i don't say feel bad for them like that but in the sense of it's like they really didn't know this was going to happen to them this way like it was going to happen this way but this is what they wanted for you all right your children i'm also hearing like this is this is like devastating this is bad this is like someone that's so scared they would just want to be around their mommy all day. They just want to be around. Like, this is like scary energy. Like, people is like scared because they never saw them act like this before. It's like, and they shouldn't be acting this way. People are being aware, like, they have to cut this person off. All right? Because they're, they're just, they're crazy. They, it's like, this is someone that's happened to the, the cosmos, but the dark realms. And they was not protected. They was not knowledgeable. They were just like oblivious in awe, wonder. And now that's you don't want to be in that energy when you in the dark realms because you can get tricked. A spirit, an entity can see that, all and wonder and take advantage of that. No. That light that you have, they will go ahead and change it up and make it be whatever they want it to be. <laughs> I'm getting strongly. This person try to scare your children, and they're being left out in the cold. 
by spirit because spirit is aware of their their evil wicked intention they try to sacrifice you all because you guys are shifting into material and spiritual prosperity that's crazy y'all waited a long time for this y'all waited like years your whole life for your life to shift the way that you wanted it to in spirit the divine god universe helped you and open up many doors gates portals for you to have this infinite new beginning literally infinite new beginning all right what that means is that your 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 energy is infinitely new every day is a new fresh start for you every day is a blank canvas where you get to manifest the, the day that you want <laughs> okay yeah, yes every day every day the day life and this is what you guys maybe wanted to manifest you wanted to take control of your life again reprogram your life and this is a part of it you guys you know creating that canvas every day no one is getting up telling you what to do how to do it you doing it you're not waking up dealing with karmic energy you waking up dealing with your own energy you waking up feeling prideful healthy pride joy excitement not weighed down and worry and stress because the karmic there's the karmic that they don't want you to be happy they don't want you this they want you that hmm Okay, hold on, Ronnie. Ouch. It's just real sad. This is why this is karmic. It's going through so much challenges right now. All right, and they're feeling unsafe. They feel, they're trying to say they feel unstuck, but they really feel stuck and bound. They know you are victorious and successful as far as like, with whatever spell they try to do. They know it. They know everything is balancing out. All right, in a sense of them feeling, well, getting karma, they can sense it and feel it, or that's just their fear. Stop, 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 money. <laughs> the fear of the karma could be what could be what's bringing it in a lot faster and quicker. Because they know what they did and they can't control the energy. They can't control their thoughts. You got a charger. Go put on the charger. But this person know, like, you know, they're going to receive karma for the spells that they've done. They know it. They know it. There's no denying it. Okay, there's no denying it. And they try to like unalive you for the karma they're going to receive for what they did to you because they feel like they don't deserve that. But that wasn't going to stop their karma. That wasn't going to stop their thoughts. Whatever thoughts they claim they have about you and stuff, that's not stopping it. They should have been stopped. This person was working with Satanism again. Yes. You you stupid, ugly, dumb. No, I'm not even going there with you like that. With that computer. Come on now, Monty. You guys are very victorious. This is like. But this is victorious and success. I'm sorry, I'm getting like two dollars at once. You guys are very victorious and successful. When with this balance and Victoria, vic, vic, victory and success. Okay, I almost said Victoria. Okay, and Victoria Justice coming up again. And her last name is Justice. So yeah, <laughs> what's your name? Justice is right next to your name. Like your name, whatever. Justice. All right, y'all about to receive divine justice for what this karmic did, and they're about to receive their karma. That's part of divine justice, okay? Maybe this person was petitioning, and they put your name and put justice, karma. Spirit is saying F off, F you, okay? But this is um, divine justice. You guys definitely successfully, that's what I was getting at 100%, successfully completed this cycle, obviously. 100%. Success is here, 100%. It's funny, one of my thumbnails on Instagram is success loading 75%. Well, it's at 100%, you guys. It boots it up to 100%, okay? All right, if your, if your success bar is at 75, okay, it boosts up to 100%. Your success bar is at 100. Don't be surprised. All right, and once you see, you know, things changing for you in your life positively. I look like you're doing it. No, I'm not. Thought I was well. I, that's what that thought came from. Thought I was doing a lot. All right, but um, what else I was about to say? You guys, yeah, you guys were successfully victorious over the spells, 
that were supposed to cause obstacles and challenges in your life, you overcame all of that. All of that is being balanced out by, it's like, I, I'm seeing the roads being smoothed out on both sides, on your side and their side, but listen, this this is this is the thing. It's like their, car, their, their karma and the spells being sent back is a part of their road smoothing out because it's like they can't run from it. Them running from it will cause a lot of obstacles and challenges in their life because they'll be going against nature itself, all right? universal law they'll be going against the universe they'll be going against god you know you you fighting against you know high levels um divine beings creators okay so you're not going to get away with that karmic so it's best if you face your karma and there's a lot of lessons involved in this all right the scales is balancing out and this person's karma is a part of it they want their road clear they want their path clear well they have to freaking go through this first they have to learn a lesson they the ones who created all this karmic nonsense in their life and they need to find a way to get out of it. They've been praying real bad to get themselves out of this energy. With this wisdom, this is the Hierophant. They've been praying real, real bad to get out of this energy. Asking God, please give me a second chance. Please redeem me. Redeem my soul, God. They could have been going to a priest, pastor to get their soul back. But God is destroying that. This tower is like it's an interruption with that that channeling, all right, that prayer. God is destroying that. No, this is why they feel uneasy. They don't feel like their prayers are being answered. You want to know why? Because they be in freaking solitude, all right, in the recent past. They know what they was doing. They want to ask you when. They know when, all right? They was in the background praying against you. God don't like that. God don't like ugly. In the past, six of cups, in the past, yes, they was tr even trying to play on your emotions and all that extra shit. Now, it's like y'all see through effery. That's just what it is. I don't want to curse them. Oh, Jenny here. Y'all see past fuckery. That's just what it is. And your passions are ignited, and this person is jealous, and you called that fucking out. And they've been waiting on you to fall and fail for the longest with this patient, but this is temperance. That energy's being transmuted. That's why it's never going to work. They don't understand the power of transmutation, the real true power of alchemy, the natural power of alchemy. Natural. Natural. Okay? Natural. It's fair to say. Natural. Okay? Like, honestly, this person tried to confuse you and confuse your head about, you know, you and your relationship with spirit. Like, and it was pissing spirit off. They need to stop being a bully. This person is bored with life, and they couldn't even admit it. Like, they're depressed, they're sad, they're not happy. And they, but in the same breath, they're trying to say, oh, it's because of you. They know it's you. They know it's a whole bunch of shit. They know a whole bunch of shit. Like, and it's like nobody can keep up. They can't even keep up with their lie. And everybody else can't keep up with their lie. That's what, it's a lie. That's what it is. This person, it's like, you don't need to, you know, stand your ground with this person in the sense of do what they do. Because spirit got your back. It's going to be sent back anyway because what they're doing is wrong. So spirit don't got to do shit either. Especially if they doing sacrifice, man. Listen, that's that's easy for spirit because spirit can just reverse that. And then they ask is being sacrificed. they like, how can that be reversed? A sacrifice can't be reversed. Yes, it can. All can be reversed. What the hell is wrong with you? This, this universe is infinite. All right, transmutation represents infinite energy. Y'all karmas better recognize y'all stuck in the box because y'all want to think and believe all the shit that you do is going to work and it's not going to work. All right, honestly, like, y'all want y'all sacrifices to work and y'all want to, like, you know, I don't know, like, hide the fact that you're doing that, pretend that you are, like, come on now. This person want to say you stealing people, robbing people of their money. How are you doing that? Because you making money? This is why this person is uneasy and scared now. I keep getting that with the base chakra. Yeah, they feel soulless. They feel empty. But they also feel an anxiety because it's the demon fucking with their fucking energy. Fucking with their brain, their thoughts. Yeah, listen. I feel like they're transforming into the black magic that they was trying to put on you. They wanted you to become whatever energy they were sending towards you with spell work. That's what's happening. If it was a karmic, a Jezebel, whatever, that's what's happening. Their life is transforming into the spell work that they tried to put on you period point blank y'all see things for what it is this person wanted you to fall go downhill look 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 they're not telling nobody what's really going on in their head head suffering and silent all right they want to block everyone from knowing that they asses are stuck in anxiety and psychosis over their life fucking going downhill because they made the wrong choices all right going down the wrong road the left path going too deep down that left path road and doing spells that was forbidden for them to fucking do and do against you. Because you're a royal being. They want to say, oh, you see this, you see this. I mean, you see this, you see that. You feel this, you you feel that. Hold on, Monty. Yeah, in the field. Hold on. All these people in your past, from your past. I'm sorry, from your past. 
okay, was jealous of your gifts, your divine gifts, and it was all hating on you, all right, in the sidelines, in solitude, behind your back, telling other people about your power and how, you know, you think you this impress, you think you this light, this light being, you think you so cosmically rewarded. Spirit done told me about all my rewards, and Spirit is, is also telling me how you trying to steal you know, well, yeah, how you're trying to steal their rewards. My reward. This is how they say in the verbatim. My rewards. You're trying to steal my rewards. That's what Spirit is saying. You're trying to steal all their prosperity because you know that they're blessed. It's the other way around, honey. It's the other way around. They think that you are trying to steal their car, their 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 little karmic rewards, even their cosmic rewards. Okay. And they're trying to do spells to reverse that by taking back all the karmic rewards that's coming to you to, to be sent to them. And that's what's getting them destroyed because that doesn't even make sense. It doesn't even... It, it, their, their thinking, their, their thought process is not making sense. They need to slow down. They just don't want you to receive karmic rewards. So they're using that, you know, you taking from them as a scapegoat, as a reason. Okay, for you to lose it all. And they think it's the truth and it's not the truth. They can think that all they want to. They're going to be walking around living in a lie. They talking about some. They see you trying to mess with their energy, mess with their their reality. It's all lies. This person is crazy. I'm I'm really sick and tired of this person wasting y'all y'all trying to waste y'all time and energy. All right, it's like y'all know the truth about light and dark. They're hating and they're mad. They're jealous. They mad that you got the gift to tap in and see what's within the light, within the heavens, within the stars, even within the darkness. Y'all was able to see them doing spell work when you within the dark, re rejoicing and celebrating. On your on your soon to be downfall in the shadows. Yup, boom, boop, boop, boop. Listen, I listen. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! Somebody's hearing gunshots. Cause I was just being funny with the boop. Like Nene be like boop, and I was like boop, boop, boop. All right, yeah. Somebody could be banging on someone's door. Oh, I'm seeing feds, FBI kicking down someone's door. This is what they wanted for you. Well. Whatever these karmics doing underhanded, they're gonna they gonna get caught for it straight up and down. They asked this to happen because they doing the shit wrong shit. All right, what I'm also getting is um somebody's hearing gunshots and they're scared or they think they are. They're like delirious. They don't know if they heard it or not, but they're afraid and they think that you trying to send some type of goons or some shit or it's, I I don't know or some type of warning. They feel like that's a spiritual warning that you trying to like shoot at them. And the spirit or some shit. This person is overthinking. They need to chill. They don't know what's going on in their life. Why would you be trying to shoot them? They're trying to say you said certain things. Like, that don't make sense, though. For a lot of you guys, you just sharing your opinion. I mean, again, your options. I don't know. I don't know why I'm getting your options. Like, maybe you share certain options. Options in food I'm getting. All right, I don't know. Why is that important? All right, but they're making that important. They're trying to say you said certain things, how the way you eat or something with, like, how the way you was holding the fork, you looked nervous or you was shaking. They was trying to say, so like, maybe I went out to eat to dinner with this person. They was trying to say, you know, like, you you was weird or some, sh weird or some shit like that. This person was working with the devil. They was communicating and contacting and conjuring and calling in the devil. This could be Papa Legba. And, and they was hoping that, yeah, they was. And he Legba too. And they was hoping that he would work for them. That's why they was rejoicing. He going to work for us. Yeah, they was clapping, calling on the leg while they lost all their power doing that because they had no business trying to call on the leg while on the impress. Who's building? Who's minding her business with her ancestors? Like, the leg while have no reason to watch over the situation because you minding your business. They just mad because you know. If any, Listen, if anything, the leg while loves you more than this karmic energy that's all in delusion because you are brave. And this is true facts. The spirits love our bravery, our courage, our honesty, our light, our the fact that we able to see past a bullcrap and not, you know, be a simp and just be like, you know what, whatever. Let me just listen to the karmic and be all confused about my own energy. Like, no, calling out the fuckery, standing ten toes down. That's honorable shit, and that's attractive too. And the spirits reflect that energy because they're the same way. And that's why you know we may attract a lot of spiritual friends. Or have many connections within our bloodline. It's just it's just who we are. And there they reflect that energy. Someone was trying to crisscross and confuse your vision so you won't see it that way. And this is why they're facing karma. They doing a whole bunch of extra shit. But but wanna hide their hands. Like I don't get it. Like you a criminal. 
All right, and they trying to say they're not confused, but I feel like they're, listen, I feel like this is someone that's going through a, a separation. I'm even hearing a spiritual separation, like they're being separated from spirit. Whatever initiation they once had, they did not make the wise choices, all right, in life, okay, or whatever power they had, and that's how they lost that spiritual connection. They're not protected. Whatever spirits was holding them up, whatever goon goons they once had, you know, on guard, they they cut that cord. It's not that they're they're destroyed or banished. They could still be in the ancestral realm, but they're not in connect. They're not connected or in connections with this karmic anymore. So they can't call on this karmic can't call on them. They may think that they are, but it's their demons masking, and they don't want to believe that either because they feel like they are in control. But yet they're losing control, and they're trying to keep that in the subconscious and hide that from people. Nothing is coming in for them. All right, they thought they disrupt, did, disrupted your good karma. But all they did was destroy themselves. This person was lying. This is why nothing is working out for them. You did not do the things they said that you was doing. You was not trying to sacrifice your soul or their soul for their wishes of, for, for, for fulfillment. Because you guys know this person did oppy shit. All right, did, you know, did, you know... What is the right word? I'm getting like, you know, Oppie's energy, like they, they did things dirty to get it. All right, they made dirty offers to receive. It wasn't honest. It wasn't pure. They they was tempted by the devil and, and they did all that. So they think you doing the same thing. This person is crisscrossed and confused about their new beginning. Oh, they, y'all, I can't, man. I'm telling y'all, I'm, I listen. I give thanks that I'm protected. Y'all y'all don't take that spiritual protection lightly. When I saw this mother freaking conf mental conflict in reverse, I literally just saw, well, felt like a demon presence in this person's mind. And their head is upside down. They're trying to say that they're not crazy, but you can feel that they are. They're soulless. It's not making up. It's not adding up. They're saying that they're not crazy, but y'all feeling and seeing. And this is all intuitively with your senses. That this person is soulless. And they don't look the same. You can see this look in their eye. They're not balanced. They gave their soul away. For whatever they thought was going to. Whatever they wanted to be, to have in exchange. Or whatever they exchanged their soul for. They, that's what they threw it away for. Okay. Whatever. And they, they're not getting it. Alright. They, they destroyed that. Even if it was for their destiny. That got destroyed. They had no business doing these things. This person man. They was doing the wrong stuff. Messing with the devil. They thought that was right. That was wrong. They, they, you couldn't tell them. You couldn't tell them no. You couldn't tell them otherwise. They didn't want to hear it. They felt like you were trying to water down their mind, manipulate them. They felt like they knew what they was doing and you just need to trust them. This, imagine you would have trusted this person with, with your fucking life. And then this mother freaker done doing shit to play around with you like oh hell no nah. yo this is crazy they got a demon controlling them like like i feel like even like advanced spiritualists will be shocked and surprised to see the fucking shit that's around this person's energetic field and what's attached to them like, it's like, it's not that it haven't been unseen, it just haven't been seen in a while. You get what I'm saying? Even on the soul level, like, this is not some shit you just, you just roam around the cosmos and see. This type of energy should have never even been fucked with at all. Excuse my tongue. See, this person, I don't know why I... I don't know. I'm gonna, I said, excuse my tongue. Someone was speaking in tongues, but it was like against you to curse. Somebody was trying to curse you in tongues or some shit like that. I picked that up before that somebody was trying to curse you with like the light language. That's it. You can't mix that light with dark. You can't do it. You'll be cursing yourself. You'll be putting that energy on yourself. It's almost like, it's almost like you know, you blowing up like a balloon. Okay, and you and those balloons where the 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 little thing where you pump it up. All right, and you, you just pumping, 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 and it just pop, blow in your face. That's how that shit will backfire. The more you try to throw it out and the bigger the energy it creates, the more it just, you have a fireball shooting right back at you. And it's, it's yes, this person is protecting you guys, right? Yes, it's because you're protected, but also, 
it's, it's going to backfire because they should not be mixing the power of tongues with cursing and hexing and all that. That's to be binding negativity is for justify righteous reasons. That's for true real demons, not to go against someone that's an impress. And, and, and especially if they're just listening to hearsay. Yeah, this mother freaking tried to attach a demon to you. And, and listen, the power of love is what protected you. And, and believe it or not, this damn dark entity was in favor of you. Liked you. Can't touch you. Look who you are. What is, bow down, it's an honor. Bow down, it's an honor. I'm, listen, y'all, listen. Y'all just gotta trust and believe me. But that's what that entity had to do. Bow down, it's an honor. All right, and it can't trick you. It'll be abomination. They'll have to, they have to deal with God and universe. First of all, I am, listen, universe energy is standing out. So, you know, y'all could be connected with universe or y'all source is universe. But just know this, in, this, this entity is afraid of whatever universe would throw back at it because the universe is watching it. Oh <laughs> and the gods within the universe, including the Holy Father God. All right? Because a lot of you guys, a lot of us, we do resonate with him. But I know some of you guys, y'all source is different. And that's fine because there's, there's many sources that, that come from one main source. All right? But um, listen, this person tried to crisscross and confuse your energy to, like, make the entity work against you. And that person feel that into it's mad. It's fire red hot. Why it's like why would you send me after divine fem? Why why would you do that? Why would you do that? You know I like divine feminine. That type of energy. Or you know, you know, I would eventually like it's like I can't get her. It's just too much love. This person is throwing the freak up. It's like I mean cold blooded murder. This is bad. They're being taunted by their thoughts. That's what they wanted for you. Cold-blooded murder by petitions and candles? What type of energy they thought they was creating? A miracle? Even if they just projecting it and speaking it out against you, what they thought was going to happen? Eye for an eye. It don't work the way you think, Karmic. It's not my eye, then your eye. No. You can't switch it up in your mind and think, oh, that's, what's, that's what it is. You're not bigger than universe. You're not bigger than the universe. Okay, a part the part of a, a part of universe live within us, yes. But that's our own individual, you know, uniqueness. You shouldn't want to challenge Big Mama Universe. That's that's all I have to say. Alright, and this person they mad. You don't got a connection with universe, you don't know what that is, and I'm gonna block your third eye so you'll be confused about it so you'll never know. And the ancestors trying to tell you this person trying to have power over you. And they're even trying to, and, and listen, if this is the leg while they was using, he came and warned you that this person, they have my energy in their home with your picture, and they're trying to use me to strike your intuition, all right, because they're slowly suffering in silence. This was in the recent past, not a full-blown, all right, 100% in suffering in silence. This is what they get for trying to send demons towards you. This is what they're thinking, all right, but Elegua warned you. Stay away from these type of people. They're trying to have power over you, over your own power, because you're a, a graceful, divine feminine, and they're using my energy in their home. You could have saw the whole, you could have saw it in, in your dream. These karmics claim they're seeing visions of what you're doing in your home with, with, with the spirits. That's a lie. There's no proof, and they can't prove it, and it's not true. They can never prove it because it's not true. I mean, now please stop whining. You and your divine masculine is protected. All right? This person was trying to, oh my gosh, whatever the act is, half the shit that they done try to do, I don't want to speak on it, okay, it's, it's, it's like they really tried, like I said, they went at like 100 full blown, 100%, they're scared of you and this entity now, because y'all all standing together, this could be Ilegua, you had to, you most likely had to reconnect with Ilegua and other ancestors, other Orishas, through this karmic cycle with these karmas because they was using Elegua and the reaches against you. And you had to reconnect with your ancestors, reconnect with your crownings, you know, through this warfare, through this cycle. They could have been the ones to take you from that connection, that spiritual connection, and you came back to regain it, this new cycle. You recycled here to, to, in this lifetime to, to regain it again, and you did, successfully. <laughs> they didn't even see it coming. That was hilarious. They did not see it coming. And then they speaking all this negativity into existence thinking it's going to work. 
That's why they thoughts all messed up. They trying to say, oh, it's your thoughts. This is your thoughts. I'm picking up all your thoughts. How is it your thoughts? And 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 and, and they're projecting it to you. People are not in this karmic, this karmic life. I can't see what's in your mind. I don't know what's really going on, so I don't believe you. Everything that you say is going to work, don't work. And they got other people scared. They got other people in fear. This person, they just a liar. They lie, saying this is going to happen, that's going to happen, this is true, that's true. This going to work, that's going to work. And they was all living in an illusion. Regardless of if it work or not, people are realizing that to try to crisscross people's mind up so they won't even see that this energy is wrong, what, what they was doing. like Even like through manipulating through conversation, give the gab. Yeah, do it. It's fine. It's okay. Just do it. You need to get your energy and power back. So you need to go ahead and do it. Almost like bribing their asses. Uh, well, trying to bribe them too. Bribe them, bribe them with words. Promising. It's like empty promises. Hell yeah. This person lost their soul for an empty promise. It's almost like they was promised working with the spirits, Papa Legba, Orisha, were working their favor. And and it brought it back to sender. Whatever they try to send out towards you, it brought it, it the spirit sent it right back. The Orisha said, No, that's not how you do things. That's not how you open this door to Ifa. All right, Ifa hood, I'm hearing the okay, the the hood, okay, or the community of Ifa. All right, and I don't know why I'm just getting hood. Why I hood stand out, car hood, the hood of a car stand out. So I have a convertible. So like, I'm getting like, you know, the ancestors. The ancestors is like their hood. Like their hoods all came out, even like the Orishas. And somebody did not expect this to happen. They're like, nah, -uh, that's not true. They're not going to do that. They ain't going to do that to me. Maybe they do that to other people. Yeah, that can happen to other people, but it can't happen to me. And it happened to them tenfold. That's what they get for even speaking that type of nonsense. Like what makes them think that they are exempt? This is like their lesson. It was definitely their lesson. Mina, come here. Yeah, this is. They was definitely trying to mess with your destiny. This is what they get. They was trying to send their ancestors after your own destiny to like destroy it, remove it, take it away from you. Yeah, they was sending the ancestors after you a lot to attack you and to take away your destiny. All right, your ancestors. All right, listen. God showed up. That was that was that was not right. God felt that unalignment, that misalignment they were trying to create in your life. God showed up. First and foremost, God first. First and foremost. This may be someone that say God first, but yet they did a lot of dark stuff that contradicts that whole God first thing. Like, um, saying. I know she's being me. Just sit with mommy. They was wrong. They was. And they don't want to be told that because they want to believe that they're right. They was wrong. They was wrong. But, like, you guys are on a mission to bring hope onto this world. And this person try to confuse you and confuse what you're doing to people by making it seem like you're not doing that. You're you're spreading fear and it's false light. And they're facing karma. They're bumping heads with a lot of the same people that they was using to try to drain and take your power with them. Now they're bumping heads with these people, clashing with them because they may feel like, oh, these people are trying to steal my knowledge, my power. Knowledge is power, right? That's the main thing these karmas were trying to take was your knowledge and what you see in the spirit. What type of visions you see. I always pick that up. All right? A crazy karmic doing that nonsense. Me, me, no, be, be careful. And you guys receive so much karmic rewards for, you know, the things you see. I know, it's almost like, hmm. I feel like the things you see, like, like, you trusted spirit. You trusted what you saw. And that's what led to your karmic reward. And I feel like a lot of your blessings and wishes came true. I'm seeing Christmas, all right, tis the season. Y'all gonna be really blessed. Why they try to destroy this? Because you speaking the truth, that's why. People asking why, why? Maybe they asking why now, and 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 they they could be figuring out like it's because you're speaking the truth or you're the truth. Maybe in the past when people asked this person why would you do it, they will lie. Now people are realizing the truth. It's because you're the truth, and you're spiritually strong, and your words hold a lot of strength and power. All right. 29 is significant. That's could have been when you started your Saturn return. All right. A divine ending is happening. All right. Because this person is crazy. All right. They will spiral you down into their nonsense. Like, I feel like this is someone that will spiral you, spiral you down into their karma. 
All right, like, like they would like like if I'm going down, you I'm taking you down with me. And this is someone their life is going down. This is why they was targeting you and many others that's going up. You ain't have to do shit with to them. They just didn't want to see you rise. They learn a lesson about themselves that they are envious and deceptive and evil. Or people are learning a lesson about this karmic, the ones who help them, and they're realizing that they're deceptive and, and evil and envious, just like how you had to learn that lesson about them in the past, the recent past. I'm hearing this could have been a short lived cycle, and they've been after you longer than how long y'all was connected. That's crazy. They envied your house, they envy your the foundation that you're creating and your achievements, your future achievements. Your spiritual achievements, they envy that bad. And they was lying on your household, your your whole entire household, your kids. They was lying on, like, like it's like lying about who y'all are. Lying on, like, on about who y'all are. Lying on y'all name. They was even lying about how you make your money, how you was building your foundation. They thought they were using their intuition, but why the fuck would you be doing all this? They wanted people to think and believe this. this is true about you. All right, it, it, it's, it's just to make you look bad. They wanted people to think and believe that you make you you the type to make a soul sacrifice. All right, you the type to try to mess with their third eye. You trying to like, you know, integrate third eyes and souls together. Like people really trusted this person intuition, and they're realizing that they was lying. They as somebody said they always knew that this person was lying, but. It's like people could have, like, maybe people, you know, certain people, I don't know. Some, because I'm getting some really believed and some probably knew this person was, like, lying. But they gave them the benefit of the doubt. And, yeah, you see, somebody knew the truth the whole time as well. But they helped somebody try to take you down. And now they're facing karma. They're realizing, like, I'm going through this shit, too. I'm going down with this karmic, too. That's, they could all be telling on each other, Mommy, help her. All right, it was your intuition that, that, that was spot on. That stood out. All these karmic's intuition is bad because they, they have demons on their crown. They don't trust and believe in themselves. Money, stop, stop. And I feel like they was all envious and jealous of your intuition. You see how my daughter is bullying her sister? Because she don't No, you being a bully. And I feel like these people was being bullies towards to, to you. 100%, yeah. Yeah, I feel like they was being a bully. They wanted you to, like, walk away from your intuition. That's so weird, right? Like, you just walk away from being, like, wanting to be intuitive, spiritual. They wanted you to stop being spiritual. They wanted you to, like, like, whatever spiritual power you have, they just wanted you to, like, just detach from that. They wanted you to detach from your power. All right, they did. This is in the shadows. I mean, they trying to say, oh, what's the point of, of all this? What's the point of you seeing and knowing all this? So, so you can know. The point of me seeing all this is so the collective can know. This person just simply don't want you to know. Somebody could be a cancer, double cancer. Maybe I feel like somebody, they feel a lot of anxiety. All right, their emotions, how the way they feel about themselves and, and the future and the past. Have them overwhelmed with anxiety. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with what someone is sending out. It's their own energy. They are anxious. They hate to see you as the impress. And they hate to see you standing side by side with your person. You and your person standing side by side. They hate to see you protected. They hate to see your ancestors still protecting you. They hate it. They hate it all. They hate all the goodness, the good energy that you guys have because they expected the worst. They did not want positive movements forward for you. They wanted backwards energy. They wanted you to descend very quickly. They wanted to keep your intuition in the dark, your light in the dark, I'm telling you. Like your your intuitive light. They wanted to keep that buried, covered. All right? This person, man... They're just crossed up and confused. Somebody don't know if it's spirit talking to them, their own mind, like their own thoughts, or if it's spirit. They just don't know. They they their discernment is like out of whack. Like it's broke down. Like this person got a lot of inner work to do. All right, please, you guys. Some of y'all could be seeing seven seven seven. All right, yeah. This is like you guys learned a huge lesson. 
how y'all dodged the bullet, how your life was in, in was in danger in that state because you guys were around the wrong people and you could have known these people wasn't good for you, but you still trusted them or you gave them benefit of the doubt. But just like how all these people that was working with the karmic gave them a benefit of the doubt, they all facing karma just like how you have. They all feeling how you felt. Absolutely positively, 100%. Because like I said, somebody knew the truth, but they still tried to attack you down with this karmic because they thought they were going to win and they got karma. Okay? Your intuition is just spot on. They need to stop attacking you because you're going to know. Simple as that. No matter what they try to do with the ancestors, it's not going to work because you're going to know. They shouldn't be doing it. This definitely could have been a feat. I feel like these karmics, it's like, y'all, I'm so sorry. I hope this is not too much of a distraction. I know they're, like, loud, but... Amina! No. Be quiet. But I feel like they're being told to walk away from you because they don't see this ending well for them. And they're like, why? And, and, and they're being told because it's not supposed to be done. They're not supposed to be doing this to you. And, and, they need, and they're also being told to, like, check themselves. Check yourself. Check how you've changed since, since the moment you've been in, from, from the mo since the moment you've been in this energy to right now. See, look at how you changed from the moment it started up until right now, I should say. And they have or had to take a moment to reflect. I mean, they're throwing up. They're, they're being attacked spiritually. Clearly, that's their answer right there. They need to move on from this. They was told the truth. Somebody told them the truth. Move on. Why are they? Like, people's even asking, like, why are you still doing this? Why are you still in the shadows doing all type of craziness? Well, I thought you people were even saying, I thought you moved on. This person is saying, no, I'm patiently waiting on Divine Feminine because she told me she's going to come back. People, people is like... People is saying, like, I don't believe that's true. Can you show me proof that Divine Feminine said it? They could have tried to show a fake text message and people caught on like that's fake. That's not real. That's not a real contact. I was like bored with their life and at the moment, whenever they was like trying to take your energy, your spirit, and they just didn't give up. They were just bored. They had nothing better to do. They could even said that. All right, somebody got kicked out. Okay, I don't know. I'm seeing like a back and forth. Somebody got kicked out and moved back in, kicked out, moved back in. All right, type of energy. Or they like piddle the post. All right, you guys are a star. That's divine confirmation that all these karmics are seeing. And, and this is the lesson is that you're a star. They, they, they regret it. They regret. They can't even speak on it or say it like right now, currently, because they in deep regret. <laughs> Me no here. He would, all I said about when they was telling people, oh, you want to patiently come back, that was in the past or the recent past. Right now, they feeling silly. Silly dilly willy. They feel stupid. They feel, they feel effed up. They're suffering in silence because they lost you. They missed out. They know everything is 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 gonna be over, about to be soon. Whatever plant, whatever seed they planted in the past, they this is, could have been someone that was already stable and founded it. It grew something beautiful, but I'm seeing this tree rot. I'm seeing the tree rotting. It's not the same. They could be trying to put on like it's the same, paint this picture like it's still the same look. But people see it's it's not the same. It's beat down. Like you're trying to cover it up. Like what's what's this? Like people are realizing like what the hell is this? And they're like, oh my power. What? It's like this person even regret even claiming this as a power. They only was trying to say they have some type of power just to make it seem like they're more powerful than you because they was envious. Deception. You see, they just made it. They just claimed that, but that wasn't for them. Or they or you know, they, they, this could be the, them claiming that they're a conjurer. They're not truly a conjurer. They're not powerful enough, but they could have thought that in their mind. But spiritually, they're not. They're, this is their karma. They could have they could have broke a lot of spiritual laws in the past. This definitely could have been a karmic witch or warlock in a past life. And their karma catching up to them this lifetime. Yeah. Yes. 
Especially since since we're shifting into this new this new age. Absolutely. Faith, faith, and karma. Double seven, seven. Listen, that's lucky energy. Y'all, listen, y'all, listen. I'm seeing seven again. Five plus two is seven. I saw five, five of pentacles. Listen, y'all made a choice. Some of y'all, man, some of y'all, man. Who pu who pulling numbers? Who is playing lotto? I ain't gonna say much because it be karma's watching, but y'all good. I guess whatever I say is just gonna fucking reveal it. I mean, hey, you gonna fucking they gonna see it anyway. See it on social media. They always find on your social media to see how good you look. To see how good looking you are. The fucking weird stalker. You have some sacred sensual energies like you like you have the sex appeal. That turns someone on. Alright? It's like you have high sex appeal or some shit. And, and, and I feel like people be just... Well, like I don't know. It could be random strangers as well. I don't know. Take how it resonate. But, you know, it's, I'm getting like a karmic masculine. Somebody that was really in, like, in your energy. Could be an ex. Even karmic feminine. They like envision themselves doing sexual things to you. And it's like, it's not... It's not like you attracted to them. They attracted to you. See, that's that's... That's the thing. See, and, and and I feel like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I feel like someone obsession with you caused them a mental breakdown slash conflict and anxiety. Wow, yeah. Yeah, it caused so much mental obstacles and challenges in their life. They became so obsessed. This is, this is like some shit you see in a movie. I swear, it's like their home had so much of like your possessions I'm getting or like your pictures was everywhere. Your name was everywhere. Like, your energy was just everywhere in their home. They was doing rituals to call in your energy. And they was also doing rituals to send the spirit to defeat you when you went and come in after they'll do a love spell. I'm telling you, I'll pick this up. Yeah, like, an uh, ex that was, like, browser or, or, or a karmic masculine that was, like, browser. That was madly in love with Peach, but she could never love him because of look at how he is. This person don't realize, like, look at who you are. You know, like, you can never love this person. Or you can never love them again. And it don't matter if they do countless love spells. It's not going to work. Y'all, I got to um charge up my laptop. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this message out today. They was rejoicing. On, your, on hopes of you downfalling and gossiping about it. And now they're fucking throwing up. You see, limping over, I'm seeing somebody vomiting. All right, in their house, in their toilet, and flushing it down the toilet. Yeah, and this is this is this is supposed to teach them a lesson. But I feel like this karmic, I feel like it's not the first time they felt their sacrifice or their spell work bits and back. They they I feel like they was tempted by the devil because the devil was lighting them up, riding them. They were sparked up by the devil. I feel like they was charged by the devil. They received the devil's energy and they couldn't control it. And the devil was riding them, and now they're seeing the cost of working with the devil. They they like I feel like they like throwing up so much. Like a whole week, eight days straight, they was throwing up. Food poisoning, they don't want to go through. They're getting their ass whooped. That's why. They got their ass beat by the devil. The devil is saying, do you want more? Can you, it, you know, like, what is it? Have you had enough? And I feel like this person, they used to say no in the past, but now they got a fuck enough. And they look, they look dumb. These people can't say anything anymore. These people try to say that they try to bless you when really they were trying to curse you and, and unalive you. But they was lying, telling people that to, to make themselves look good. Now people's coming back at them and they're like, you said this and you said that and, I was, and I'm finding out opposite. Some, I'm seeing possum, all right, and somebody going to pop up at someone's house or someone's scared or someone popping up at their house. Someone's going to pop up at someone's house and they going to piss, that's going to piss them off because they did not want to see that person. All right, it's like an unwelcome visitor. Like, why are you here? Like, that type of energy. Like, what, what you want? Like, they're not even going to let them in. This could be like, this is happening to a karmic. All right? Like, a karmic is meeting up with a karmic at their house, but they just popped up. But they figure they can just go over there, and they open up the door. Like, what do you want? Oh, like, because this karmic is realizing whoever, whatever karmic was around them. So this could be the same karmic that was helping the karmic take you down. They realizing that that karmic is really the deceptive and evil one and the envious one. They they they're like I've been saw it. 
I just wanted to give it the benefit of the doubt. They all saying the same thing about each other. That's how you know that they was collectively in some karmic energy that they need to outgrow from. And this is why this tower happened. This unexpected chaos. All right, this unexpected tragedy, this karma, unexpected karma for them. It wasn't unexpected for you. You knew they was going to face karma, but it was unexpected for them. But this is happening because, you know, they all in the same bull crap energy. You know your destiny. They, I feel like they try to block your vision of your destiny, like that inner vision, what you see within yourself about your destiny. They try to block that a lot. They try to cut it. They really try to go within your soul. They, they listen, they know they did a lot. That right there make them like real nervous because they know they 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 crossed the line. They did things that they shouldn't have done, and they know they like. And this is someone that tried to say like, "Oh, people did it to me, so I do it to them." This is a hurt person that hurt other people, and they was hurting other people with spells because maybe somebody hurt them with spells in the past. But two wrongs don't make a right. You fight fire with fire, you get what burned, and this person got burned. Okay. They was in their shadow. And they was hating on your relationship, your love life. They was in they was jealous. They was in that jealousy rage. Jealousy rage. They jealousy made them enraged. And made them entrapped too. They try to do it. I'm telling you, I I just saw it again. A ritual sacrifice. Satanic. And they didn't even do it properly. This is someone that did rituals in the past life. I'm telling you. I promise y'all, my laptop is dying. All right, I got to get the, the wire for it. I don't know where it is. Oh, my phone is internet. The internet. Give it a chance. All right, early earth dweller. Yeah, I feel like you guys been walking around earth a long time, but I feel like earlier, early in this person's lifetime, oh, wow, they used to torment people with spells. They was a whole warlock, or they was like a tormentor physically. All right, fire disaster, a volcano has erupted. Mm. Or the volcano may erupt here, and an ice disaster may happen. The ice age, I don't know. I, they do. They did. They have been saying that a lot of um, flooding been happening due to the ice melting. So keep that in mind. A lot of you guys can see these natural disasters because you're high priestess. Y'all been. This is a warlock. There, I, I feel. Like I do see a gray. They have either gray connections or they are gray, all right, or reptile connections. All right, take how it resonates. But I'm get gray is standing out. They've been after you because you're a high priestess that's here to bring awareness to the planet about. These mofos that's trying to keep us in trap, them trying to cause the chaos on this planet by either doing negative things that's causing these volcanoes to erupt because the negative frequencies that they these karmic energies are putting out there is causing these natural disasters, even the ice age, because it's like Mother Earth is like it's time for a new beginning, it's time for change. This volcano will, you know, Run away, wash away all those negative people that was either in the area or whatever it may be, the forest fire, city fires, any type of fires. It's like to warn. It's almost like a warning. I feel like the fire is to like warn. And I feel like, you know, whatever ice is melting, all right, whatever ice age that may happen, well, ice disaster I meant to say, I feel like it's, it's um ice melting. That's almost a sign of like the earth being transmuted. Because the earth is like, I mean, uh, the water is purging. The water is transmuting too. Okay? The water is transmuting as well. Oh, I'm sorry you hit your foot. Let's see what else. But yeah, this is this is a um, a karmic bully after you could do a psychic here. And I feel like they was feeding off of you with this diet. They was feeding off of you and I feel like it turned them greedy. They turned them like a glutton type of spirit. Look. Wow, I never got this card before. I don't think I did. I don't think I ever got this card. I didn't even know this card was in this deck. Where did this card come from? All of this supply. Dark magic, possess, curse, exorcist. They needed exorcism. They pulled the devil card. And it got them fucking scared. But they wanted to pull it. Look, here, look. Fall of civilization. You want to know why this false bullcrap 3D matrix is falling and the false civil civilization they try to build is falling because of greed and, and the, the, the damn devil magic okay y'all know what I'm trying to say the dark energy the dark frequencies is what's causing this falling they had no business putting all this negative energy on earth the dark matter that they do underground in the shadows is what caused all these natural disasters and all these crazy things that's happening in the forefront 
So keep that in mind. And you guys are the chosen highest priestess to see this and speak up against. And you guys got karmic torment and bullies and flying their fine monkeys trying to attack you because of this. All right? Greed. And it says gluttony with that diet. Greedy. They, they're greedy. They need to, like, shed. Maybe they need to be a vegan or be a spiritual vegan. As in, like, just shedding themselves from that dark energy. All right? Because it's too heavy for them. And just focus on the light. Period. Because they're corrupted. The devil corrupted them. They was indulging so much. Yes, greed and indulgence and the ignorance that they try to project on the people, the programming. The ignorance I'm getting is the programming. Understand this to my high priestesses and future high priestesses. You guys have the divine gift to see this. All right, the current corruption of, of our government and stuff like that and their little weird-ass intelligence. They're supposed to be using natural intelligence, not artificial intelligence. Natural intelligence, yes. Anything is possible with, 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 with the cosmos. They can make, they, it, it can be done. All this artificial stuff, come on now. All right? And, and trying to program the people to make them ignorant, there's a high price to pay, okay? They got to pay for that. Yes, they got to pay for that. And all this, this, them stealing our resources and all the energy that they stole and harvest from us, it will be returned to us. By us receiving life energy, new, the new earth. Y'all can see, I feel like y'all can read the Akasha of Atlantis and the fall of it. That's a part of your power. And hold your position of power, star seeds. Hold your position. Hold your position. Hold your position and stand strong. You're, you're a hard fighter, okay? Uh, okay, hard working fighter, I was about to say. All right, but you fight hard. There we go. You fight hard. And you fight with courage and with a purpose. You don't lose that, that that sight of the purpose. That's within your heart. And you're going to receive fame and recognition for you holding that position of power. All right, you're holding it down for the most high prior to him returning and the other gods. And you're here to fight against the abuse of power, including this, this tormenting-ass bully. You know why? Do you know why? They like to use other people to abuse power because they lost theirs. And this is why they lost their power because they abused their power. What's wrong? You want me to exit out? No. No. Goodness. Wow. Wow. A lot of, I got to go, you guys. I got to go. I got to go because I have to cook. But a lot of false elites are being executed in the shadows. They're not, this is not being televised. The execution, the hanging. A lot of whistleblowers are talking that's not being televised, but some will. Some will be talked about. And there's witnesses to prove what these, these whistleblowers are saying. Not to call them snitches, but that's what I'm getting with the snitch, a whistleblower. All right? These executioners are here to help save the planet. The powers at be that abuse their power and authority against the people are being executed in silence. Okay? And as Executioners, okay, excuse, I'm not even saying it right now, I've been trying to say it for the longest. The ones that are doing the execution, they are here to help the planet be set free. All right, oh my God, there's a lot of laws, a lot of, listen, a lot of laws are going to, listen, they broke a lot of laws, first of all. They did. Even though they do say that they, you know, found, they loophole through karma, they still broke a lot of laws to make that happen. So it still result in to them falling. Okay, all oh my God, they be doing those type of weird Freemason these these modern day Freemason rituals, with like I'm seeing like a white bag over there. This is wild. Somebody may have tried to initiate you under some type of dark occult, and you guys said no, you turned it down, and that's oh. The Rev Draconians and Grays asked you in the spirit in the quantum join us. Betray the gods and join us. Betray universe, mama universe, and join us. And you said, no, I'm loyal to my kind. I'm loyal to my um, my divine mother and father, holy mother and father, and, and, and the other star children. And that's when they sent the NPC pawn after you. The ones that's currently bullying you, they work for the 1% plus. They're just their pawn to the two 
distract you from your purpose and and also to distract you so you won't tell the people of them being fallen because it's also shame that falls with that that comes with that then they already being executed and then a lot of them that it's like they're being like shame in the sense of like their pants falling down like their pants being pulled down like exposure it's the exposure that got them feeling shame torture they they was torturing souls torturing children children souls prior to them even incarnating on this planet so they can you know come here hurting in pain they created a lot of our karmic cycles well i don't say created like that but it's almost like we was cursed into these cycles with these bullshit ass bully karmics they're fucking pawns they try to they literally try to like crisscross our path as well when we will get it's, it's, it's almost like what I'm seeing is like how they try they try to curse us and cross and curse our path our path on earth. Okay? And that didn't work. Because we will come on here and come on earth and it's like yeah, even though the karmas we will we will still meet up with them, cross paths with them. We will catch on. It won't lead up to whatever they try to curse us on on earth. Curse whatever our divine soul plan is. They was like, like they had their hands on certain magic that's forbidden for them because of their ranking is low. The Draconians, Grays and Rep, their ranking is low. They come from the lower realms of the cosmos. That's just what it is. And it's because they have they they have not evolved yet. And they came over here as uh, as bullies, literally, and they tortured a lot of spiritual leaders us earth angels in the spirit and on this planet with their little pawns and shit them trying to stop us from rising you know this new earth is torture in a sense for us because we want to heal we want to hurt we want to heal we don't and it hurts us that we can't heal almost say i want to hurt all right this person want to hurt you they want you to feel in pain but they don't have to do that Cause you 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 naturally feel hurtful when this person trying to do this like they're just trying to add on more pain more pain to what you're already feeling all right and i feel like you guys are the truth seekers spiritual questioning all right it's like you're spiritually questioning these karmics in this in the quantum and they don't like it they're being interrogated that's what they get they're being spiritually investigated even the powers that the powers that be they took our crowning took our, our rulership position took over with whatever we had control of and they had their own they had a whole follower group you know how browser have his little troopers koopas all right those are like his soldiers yeah them little draconians had their little followers the devil had his followers absolutely positively all right and this main devil was addicted to you these karmas want to laugh at you because you telling these type of things. This these type of truth. They want to laugh at me. Laugh now. Cry later, buddy. Love y'all so much. Namaste.